Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Do you like my look? I'm still wearing the jewelry from Ana Luisa. If you're interested, I still have a discount code, um, All is Mom 10 It's in the description down below. Anyway, so today's very exciting video. This is a um, mini haul from a website called Five Grants. Like favorite brands, yeah, fave brands. I've been purchasing a lot of my perfume from the scanner. I use a lot of Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. I was recently introduced to this new website called Fref Grands. Um, it's a lesser known site with really good selection and competitive pricing. They have a lot of different perfume options, and the good thing about this place is that they have a lot of perfume that you've been wanting to buy from fragrance net and fragrance x but there is for some reason out of stock for example i saw so many mancera and they have coco vanille they have roses vanille like coco vanille is sold out everywhere i've been wanting to get that one unfortunately they don't have velvet vanilla which i really really want so um, I decided to pick up two items from this company. But before I get there, let me talk to you a little bit more about this company. So first of all, let me just say it out loud. This, the website sucks. <laughs> the layout sucks. Okay, the search engine works. You could put in any perfume that you want to buy. Maybe they have it. It's really, really competitive pricing. And the best part is they have zero minimum shipping policy part that I don't really like from FragranceNet is all their free shipping started from $59 and a lot of the perfume that I want to buy costs not even $50 and then I have to buy another perfume and not much option to be honest for less than $10 so you end up having to spend $80 in general to get two perfumes so that you can get free shipping so to me that's a big no-no especially now that i am trying to curate my collection to a smaller quantity the one that i truly want and love so whenever i find something that i really want to buy i don't want to buy more just to add on to my card to get free shipping so because of that this website is extremely attractive to me Fragrance X, the free shipping, you have to buy $39 and more. And you know that Fragrance Net and Fragrance X, the prices are competitive. So make this one your third option, which is Faf Grunts. Price is competitive completely, but you need to do your research too. You need to shop around uh, between this, this three website and then see whatever makes sense. You know, if you just want to buy one items, if I were you, I'd buy from this place just because I don't want to add on more perfume to my cart just to get free shipping. So because of that, this company is attractive to me and that's why I want to share it with you today. If you buy a perfume from them, you could always um, use their welcome 10 code, which is 10% off. That would save you money too. So yeah, free shipping and then 10% off. They also have this um regular promotion on their newsletter so be sure to sign up on their newsletter all right so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience um, i place an order on september 30th and the next day i get a tracking number from ups and then five days later exactly five days later on october 6th i got my package i bought two items if you see my video where i do my orange blossom perfume comparison i fell in love hard with two perfume at least <laughs> i i wanted to get velvet vanilla but they don't have it and then i want amy love fragrance and she said that she love wild python and also another youtuber i think his name is abraham i don't remember his name and kim kali they fall in love with this perfume this is mancera wild python this is supposed to be like a tuberose fragrance and in the video they compare it with a uh, carnal flower which I thought I love. As soon as I picked this one up I realized that this is not what I like. So I contacted them on the next day that I wanted to return this and he's pretty responsive. He's really good with the customer support. Unfortunately, Favgrins doesn't take return on items that are not damaged. So they accept return if 
you receive damage item but he's not taking back in um, the perfume that you bought that you don't like I decided to declutter this so I'm gonna swap this to velvet vanilla I thought I might like this one better because on the website this is compared to Killian good girl gone bad now that we're here let me talk to you about this this is Mancera wild python the Notes that are listed for granted are tuberose, osmanthus, peach, jasmine, orange blossom, musk, vanilla, bergamot, and patchouli. Um, if you smell Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, this is like Mancera version of Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. I love tuberose. I thought that's like the notes that I enjoy the most in perfume, but turns out I like a creamy tuberose. I like a... Um, I like the tuberose in Rouge Malachite. I like the tuberose in BDK. Datura Noir. So this one, it's nice. It's just that I don't think I prefer this. The tuberose here is very green. The opening is exactly clean. Good Girl Gone Bad, Mancera style. The dry down is like a, more like a lipsticky vibe. Sen. With a little bit of tuberose and musk. This is like a white musk. The dry down is really lipsticky. Sen. I thought I like lipsticky. This one is not sweet. It's more like a mature, classier style. The the person that wears, that enjoy wearing this, I could imagine also wears Dior Attic. Um, this is not bad. If I am collector, I would have kept this but i just decided that i prefer velvet vanilla a lot more i'm going to try to swap this if any of you have velvet vanilla and you don't like it and you want this and if it ha if this hasn't been sold yet on mercari i probably will swap it but i really really want a velvet vanilla so or if you have one that's up for sale let me know yeah i don't like it because it's green number one and number two it's also lipsticky with musky scent maybe i don't like it because it's not sweet i like sweet perfume <laughs> okay so that's one of the perfume that i picked from the website which is sold out in fragrance eggs sold out in fragrance net so so yeah i'm decluttering this one the next one that i picked up uh this is what i truly want and i'm so glad i picked this one up this is john paul gaultier classic essence comes in this like packaging that looks amazing but it's so painful to open all right and then this one sits nicely it's the same material as the one in la belle Oops. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful you guys this is like a gourmand mature version of orange crimsicle the opening is orange blossom with tangerine so good and it has like gourmand aspect there's a whipped cream there's vanilla when you wear this when you shadow this and fell for vanilla you get benevolence i swear you get benevolence um which people compare to love don't be shy killian i have a decan of that um it's not quite there it's pretty darn close to house of siad's benevolence so yeah this is one I'd have purchased. The note that's listed in Fragrantica are orange blossom, whipped cream, vanilla, tangerine, jasmine, benzoin, ginger, aldehyde, cashmere wood, wood, woody notes. I recommend it only if you like grapey orange blossom with a gourmand aspect. And it does smell like a mature version of orange creamsicle. This company also have a presence on Facebook and Instagram. You could add them on your Instagram, although they're not so active, to be honest. Go check out the company. I just think that it's an amazing company with a great customer service. Every time I send an email, they respond immediately within 24 seven and really responsive, fast, quick shipping. Oh, and also he sent me an ebook all you need to know about perfume if that's your thing if you like to read if you buy from this website they gave you like an ebook version of that book the website also have a lot of different selection they have mancera jean paul gaultier almost everything that 
Fragrance X has or Fragrance Net, they have, you know, including Le Labo, Serge Bouton, Baccarat Rouge, Lattice and Perfumer. All right, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.